Hi, my name is Chris. I'm repairing car electronics and uh, in this video I will show you how we can measure with an oscilloscope a uh, fuel pressure regulator on a diesel engine. Actually almost it's the same uh, on other engines but today we are talking with a Fiat Toblo 1.3 multi-jet engine. Model year is uh, 2007 I think so and uh, I will try to to show you why we need to use the scope and uh, how we can set up all this stuff and uh, what the signal that we get, the parameter of the signal uh, means on our screen. So here we are. This car has actually a problem with the fuel pressure regulating regulator. The car is showing up a very high fuel pressure almost around 1700 bars that means the ECU will shut down the engine or the engine will uh, stalking and so on so it makes some pretty nice crappy stuff so and uh, after examining the installation for short circuit uh, the ground to, to, to battery plus and so on uh, I figured out maybe something other is here inside this problem which is actually not pro not possible to to read and measure without a scope so let's start it for first what we have to do we have to check out where is our pressure regulator in this case it is a it is here down very hard to access with the scope uh, probe and so on and I decide to make to open this plug and uh, to back probe I don't know if we can see this you see these two needles here one and the second and I will rotate my camera so maybe so it's better yeah so this is the this is one needle and this is the other needle I'm actually back probing this connector and uh, these two wires where I hooked up these needles are actually the same wires which are coming down here to the to the uh, regulator you know so i think this is the best option to back probe or to take samples of the signals which are going from the ecu to the regulator and so on what we have to do now on our scope because we don't know what we expect of the signal, what kind of signal we are expecting, we have to set up our scope. For first, I need to set up, I don't know if you can see, but I try to. We have firstly to put the, the probe times 10. The switch to, you have to switch this, this, uh, this switch to times 10, net to times 1. We try to show you how this is exactly by me, but okay, it's a bit hard. See you okay? And uh, in my case, in my scope, I have many here, where I have also set to set this to times ten, so the scope is functioning perfectly. So, and now we are going to set up to set up our our leads from the scope the probe to this circuit so our next step is to hook up the probe to this circuit here I will just a bit uh, talk about these two wires how this is working one of these pins I mean these needles is a, co is a constant uh, positive voltage and the second wire is actually the switching wire, the signal wire, which is switching, uh, which is switching by the ECU, and it switched the ground actually through a MOSFET inside the ECU. So that means when you start a car or you, st I mean, start an engine, or you put the key in the ignition position, you will, you should get here on one of these two wires a positive 12 volt or something similar to the battery post to the battery voltage and the second pin will actually switch in so we have to hook up our probe 
exactly to these pins. It's a bit hard to do it with one hand, but I will try. I expanded the battery ground through this cable just to be short enough, close enough to the connector because here the alligator clip uh, wouldn't reach this negative terminal on the battery. So I hook up now my negative crocodile clip from my probe here and I will hook up now to the signaling wire on this needle so so now we have battery negative you see I expanded the distance with this crocodile wire here and then I clip it up here the negative this is the same like here and because I know that's one of these which of these pin are the signal wire I hook it up and uh, now we have to make some setup on the scope. I don't know if we can see it. I put my scope to 20 volt per division. So one division is 20 volt high. I put the time scale to what to one milliseconds. It's enough for now. So I go and put the ignition key on. So here we are. I put the key in the ignition position and what we have to see here, what we can here see is actually a nice PVM signal. I will show you that by setting up the scope a bit. So you see it's a nice PVM signal. What is sending and controlling, I will say so, the ECU to the fuel pressure regulator. But what we can see here, oh, I forgot to mention, you have to set up the trigger value. The trigger value should be around uh, 10 volt to triggering something uh, what is around 10 volt, you know. So you have a steady signal here. Yes, we can say we have a PVM signal. And that's nice and fair. And good, but we have actually a very good signal and a very nice problem. Let's check out what's the problem. I will zoom into the signal, something like this or this. Never mind, I will start my cursor. So manual track, track the voltage, and also. This white li uh, line here is my cursor, and we can measure now the voltage. The peak voltage here is around 54 volts. That's a problem actually. So we have a nice steady signal around PVM signal around uh, 180 hertz. This is the frequency of the signal, but we have a peak voltage here, a very high peak. And this is why I told you we have to set up our scope to 20 volt per division and uh, to switch this little switch uh, on the probe to time 10. I will try to figure out, I will try to, to uh, talk about the signal, why, what is the signal meaning actually here. This here, zoom out a bit so we can see. I will take the cursor out, I mean off, cursor off, so, so we have a better view. So, this here means the solenoid is off, this here means the solenoid is on, and this here means the solenoid is switching off. And when the solenoid is switching off, we get a peak. And then, if we zoom into the signal, the peak starts to fall down. And this takes too much time. And this peak here and this time here cause the problem of the high pressure value on idling, which is around 
1700 bars so once again solenoid is off solenoid goes on solenoid is on solenoid goes off this talks me this part here is talking me that something is wrong with the ECU for some reason the ECU can't clamp down this voltage spike here maybe there is a diode bad in the ECU I don't know how this ECU is made but something is telling me that something is very wrong with the ECU you see so this is the meaning of this diagram solenoid off solenoid starts to open solenoid time open which is actually one millisecond and solenoid goes off and when it goes off we have a very high peak around 50 volts solenoids the energy from the coil of the solenoids is discharging slowly and nicely like a capacitor and the solenoid is again off until the next next cycle solenoid goes on solenoid is on solenoid goes off and everything is repeating and now i will try to hook up something on this car and i try to, to clamp down this voltage here so here we are this is our new signal my scoop is the same with the same setup 20 volt one millisecond per division timeline and we have here the PVMC now as before but without this high clipping here you know this little clipping here is correct and uh, no problem this is around maybe 15 volt or something like that but we can also check with our cursor option on our scope manually you see this white line here is my cursor I will go down and let's check out something like here it's about 16 volt peaking that's very nice and fine with this kind of signal the car will start and the car will work perfectly so let's check out what I did to test and get this signal so here is my setup what I did here here we can see a red crocodile connected to diode and the other side of the diode is connected with a green crocodile to the battery positive terminal so again I hooked up my red probe to the signal pin that is ground switching the ECU and the other side I hooked up to a diode and the other side of the diode is hooked up to the positive terminal that means I made a circuit outside the ECU which is actually clamping down the voltage at the moment on the solenoid the voltage on the solenoid at the moment when it starts to switch off and when the solenoid is off and all the current which was generated in the coil of the solenoid is actually going through this diode to the battery discharging to the battery positive terminal so that means the coil the electromagnetic field uh, is discharging collapsing by this diode and uh, this setup for end I will show you I will disconnect this here so I will disconnect so and reconnect that and I will show you the signal until it is disconnected how it looked like on the scope you see I will connect now back the lead lead is back 
lead is disconnected. I mean the diode is disconnected. The diode is connected back. The diode is disconnected. So, I hope you guys, you enjoyed this, this video. Thank you for watching.